we are now going to look at a decision table for accessing a secured network. So in order to start our decision table, we need to first establish what conditions need to be met in this actual information system and what actions will take place for each condition. So in order to establish what conditions can take place when trying to log into a network, I'm either going to get my login correct or incorrect, or I'm going to get my password correct or incorrect. And the two possible outcomes from that will be I'll get into the network or I'll be denied access. So the first scenario, I'll have the correct login and the correct password and I'll get access to the network. Any other scenario where either I get the login wrong or the password wrong will not let me into the actual network. So decision tables help us establish what scenarios need to be fulfilled in order for a specific outcome to take place. In this scenario, the only outcome that will allow me to gain access to the network is if both the login and the password are correct. Any other combinations of conditions will not get me into the network.